it's Cabria, one of the owners of West Juice Magazine. We just got here and picked up our West the Juice Magazine October and November issue, so look out for that. I am at Mad Vision alongside many CEO of Mad Vision and P. Ross of Exclusive Photography. We were just talking about a few things. I think the first thing we should kind of discuss is the Obama and Romney thing and right. the, oh whole, you go there the whole quick? thing right. with that. I think we um, yeah. Let's go there. We're also going to have a guest appearance later to give us some more you know, information. Menace and I, and along with Pete Ross, we were talking about you know some of the things that Obama wants to do mm -hmm. and some of the things that um, Romney wants to do. And as everybody knows, Romney wants to take away, you know, the food stamps mm -hmm. and just like all the benefits. That, 47 percent. Yeah. 47 percent of Americans who feel like they're victims, uh, uh, they're not in, they're, uh, entitled to government assistance. He want to take that away because he, I, I mean, you know, apparently he feel like, you know, we lazy. I'm because I, I say we could, because I consider myself as being a part of that 47 percent. You know what I'm saying? He feel like he feel lazy. And we only go through stuff. But me, my outlook on it is, I feel like people need help in this country. And regardless of the, how you get there, what type of assistance it is, I mean, people do need help. You have families out there that that's hungry, that has kids, you know, that have kids going to school every day, and that you know they have to put, they have to provide for putting food in the kids' stomach. I mean, straight up, I'm for Obama. <laughs> in the magazine, um, I. We chose not to choose the side, so I did I'm for, put I'm for, I'm for Obama. both <laughs> candidates because personally, I feel like both candidates have, you, you major know, major point of view, major point of view, right. and I can yeah. see outlooks on both sides. Yeah. So I try not to because then you know you wow. can say that, but then you can also say, well, you know, that percentage of America who are receiving income, and I was one of those people, so okay. you know, I feel like I can speak about the situation. Right. I from what I'm getting from Romney with his point of view, he's trying to say, listen, we're helping you, let's stop it, get out here, work, you know, do, you know. I mean, everything he's saying is get all. Get a job, you it, know, it, hold your own, it, like it, like the people who have money are he doing. He can talk, he can say that, he got money, you understand what I'm saying? He tried telling the broke nigga that. You understand what I'm saying? Now, but then, now, but now, then. I ain't saying, I ain't saying, now he, he got a point. Okay, let's not be lazy. Let's get up, let's get a job, let's get off of welfare, let's work, let's, you know, be a man or whatever. But right now we broke. Understand what I'm saying? If, if food stamps gonna help me stack a couple dollars and feed my child, my son, my daughter at the same time, man, give me them food stamps. Let me stand, let me rebuild. Let me come, let me come back up. Some people abuse the system now. So don't get it, don't take it wrong. Some yeah, people abuse the system. You understand what I'm saying? But it's people that genuinely need help. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, 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 right. Straight up. I see your point in that. And then he's also, you know, the same person who was saying that is saying like, he doesn't want any contraceptives for birth control or, you know, he wants to like right. dictate parenting now. Right. He want to take it back to slavery. But he, then, the but then, you know, a lot of, because I've been speaking to a couple of people, actually I'm going to upload a few photos on our blog of the campaign that I just attended. And um, a lot of people from Obama's camp is kind of hurt from the whole debate that happened last week. They're feeling like he didn't stand up for us, Obama, um, I'm sorry, Romney was um, on the podium speaking over him. A lot of people, after seeing the president, the vice presidential debate, a lot of people were kind of hoping that Obama would have been more like Biden. Right. So how did how do you feel about that? Did that make you lose hope in Obama by no. seeing it? Because I know you watched it. We um, right, right, we right, saw right, the clip right, right, actually right, right. together. Um, how did? What did you think about the debate? I mean, you know, God is good, right? And not really trying to mix religion with politics, but I must say God is good. And sometimes, sometimes he don't answer my prayers, but I don't get discouraged. You understand what I'm saying? I still believe in the man. You feel me? Okay, Obama came out. He was, he was thrown out. Mick Romney, Mick Romney changed his whole strategy. You understand what I'm saying? So he, he wasn't prepared for that. Not, I'm saying he should have been prepared really at all costs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make no excuses for him. You know, but personally, I don't feel like he did bad. 
right. if, if he would have if he would have acted like Joe Drake. Biden, if he would have you know acted as like acted out like Joe Biden, mm -hmm. you know America they probably still would have been talking about. Yeah, him. they would have said he was grizzly. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, they because oh, you know grizzly. what? In these the campaigns, president. you have image makers. So Obama has a team of people creating his image and like don't come off as the angry black man. You yeah. know what I mean? We don't we want you to go that. out there snapping like yeah. keep your cool, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, Obama, you know, you know, we got the president drinking beer at, you know, basketball games and kissing they his say, wife. We got they say Obama, Obama was cool to the collector, right? Mm -hmm. They say he was weak. He looked weak. The man was listening. He was very attentive. He paid attention. Uh, and, you I know, did want him to fight more, though. Yeah, he paid attention. He listened. He took notes. You know what I'm saying? But we got a third debate coming up now. Let's yeah, not forget. Yeah, and I can't yeah, wait for that tomorrow. Saying? Actually, I can't right. wait for third that. debate is tomorrow. It's tomorrow. You right. know what I'm saying? Also, so, yeah, you know. But at the same time, let me say this too, though. Like, 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 I'm, I'm taken aback by how the media is, is is pumping up Paul Ryan. He was weak. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the media say that, um, yeah, you know, everybody say, well, he, he conducted himself very presidential, but the man, he was weak. You understand well, what I'm saying? Well, of course they're not going to put that they're on They're not going to blast just gonna, that. Because some type of way, the presidential campaign becomes a way of, like, the white people, the black, black people, people, like, the, the, the Republicans against the Democrats. It becomes like, oh, no, nah, oh, no, nah, y'all. And it should just be about facts instead of, like, let's team up over here because we this way and we got all the money let's team up over here because let's listen to what these people actually really want to do okay. Cash no matter, make sure that's you go between you very important. and you very you important you, bubble make, in you make or, your choice yeah you make your choice Obama. but definitely listen to both sides right. and also let's mention that esther harrell will be on the show she is phenomenal yeah and um she will actually How bring is she she um I don't know I don't know if mom would like for me to tell her age. We'll ask her when we well, meet her. She, she's up she's there. yeah, she's like seventy something. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Um so we're gonna talk to her and she has a lot of information yeah, about she, this. She's very But yeah. let's get to the magazine. How did you guys feel when you first saw it? How was it? First of all, I'm I'm you know, I must applaud you. I mean you did a great job. The magazine is beautiful. I mean it looks it's very professional, it's laid out. Um, your other magazines was professional, but this here is like you, you stepped it up a notch right here. I think you did your thing. Okay, so um, what's up, P. Ross? How do you feel that you're gonna go back to Atlanta with my sister and I and you know build our street team and hook up with WSCT Radio and um, still have things going on here at Mad Vision Studios for? those people who want to be a part as well? I feel like um, I'm very focused. I have to be very focused because I'm, I'm, I'm taking a journey to another place. You know, I can't really depend on nobody, so I'm gonna have to be going hard, harder than I am down here. So y'all already know how I get down down here, but when I take it to Atlanta, it's gonna be on a whole nother, another level. I'm, I'm just psyching my mind out for it right now, but I really, um, I really want to go up here and do my thing. So I'm what you gonna, gonna do, do different up there? Like what you what mm -hmm. you gonna do different in Atlanta that you that you got going on down here? What I when I'm gonna go up there, the what I'm connected to, I have a lot of resources, so I can plug okay. in a lot of things. Actually, when you grab the magazine, is on one Located page. Located in Norcross, Hush. it's on page fourteen. Hush, Hush nightclub. Hush <laughs> nightclub. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. G Wiz. My homeboy, my sister and I have been living in Atlanta for a few months. Prince is coming up there. I'm going to connect him with G Wiz, who is, um, he's just the greatest. And, you know, we're going to start having artists come here. Right. Also, I'm really, really excited that this is our October issue. This yep. is my best issue. Supporting breast cancer. Our favorite. Cancer. Help spread the word. Support breast cancer social awareness. Uh, Month of October. It can be done. When you believe something can be done, really believe, your mind will find the ways to do it. Believe in a solution uh, paves the way to solution. And don't forget, this month is anti-bullying and uh, domestic violence month. Yeah. So uh, definitely we're representing that uh, going against uh, the bullying and, uh, and uh, definitely the domestic violence. Right. I mean, we don't want our women getting hurt. Uh, definitely, I'm totally against that. I really despise it. but. Uh, 
continue. continue 10% of the proceeds. We're really excited about this part. 10% of the proceeds. We're, we sell the magazine for $3, but 10% of the proceeds go back to. $3. Um, yeah. How many pages in here? 30, 32, I think. 32. Why? Do you think that's too much? No, man. Why you, these things need to be like $7, $9. 7 on, 9 This is a magazine. Ten. It's like, I mean, you know, shots out the jet mag, but this is like. On the same level, man. Yeah. You know well, what I'm well, saying? I think we're a little better. Hard. Shouts out to my graphic designer, Mike right. Kia, oh, man. who is <laughs> the Mike greatest Kia. in the world. We got. I, I love she your work. Actually, I give. I commend I you. I give you two her. thumbs up. I mean, I see. I see you got. Two, Chris I love Brown. it. Hey, I uh -huh. see you got Chris Brown in here, but that dude, that pimp, that dude, like, yeah, pimp. Yeah, he got Rihanna and. I love Drea. the fact that. Yeah. At the same time, I don't think she messed with him no more. I think I believe she left. Uh, yeah. Who? The girl, uh, his girlfriend. Was oh like, yeah, they. Yeah, he broke up yeah. with her. Right, right. And like he he's. With yeah. Well, you know, they never stopped. Right. They love each other, and I'm just so happy that people are done saying, "Oh, they should like leave them alone." They love each other. Leave them alone. Yeah, they I, both she, make you know great what, music. But that's cool. Stop. You know what? But that's, she should have never went on Oprah. She should have never went on Oprah crying. That's you know how she felt. Like, so you, so you telling her because she's a celebrity and she has a lot of money. That. You should have told Oprah. Why not? You should have said, Oprah, let's not go there. Let's talk about. So you, Oprah you, wanted to know. Oprah can ask me anything, yeah, but, and I'll well, tell her. Well, she should have never got like that. But talk. why not? It's how she feel. Yeah. See, this is what needs to stop. Yeah. How people you, need people need to stop you know, looking at celebrities feeling like that's messed up. Like, stop looking at celebrities as role models and, and caring about, about what they do other than their model. good music. It Let's start going. Going back to like looking at these principals and doctors and teachers and um, attorneys and you know like people saying. like that. I'm all like I'm I hated them dogging Rihanna. Oh, she, I mean, she was, like, I'm not dogging the girl. I mean, shots out to you. You got much. Success, I've gotten in a fight with much the boy, love, a, you know what a boyfriend you before music. and got back Keep with him. Keep doing great music. We love you, Rihanna. You oh, ever got oh, in a fight with him and got I love back you, with him? Yeah, don't worry about nothing. You yeah. ever got in a fight with a girl and got back with her? Yes. I got in a fight several times. Yes. And that was you know, but, but how how long how long went, it took? That next day? Yeah, but well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Did you ever have people in your you don't go back to her dog? I told you about her, man. I, I feel don't you, know though. why you man. I feel you, but and you were like, man, I know dog. But, but and see you me, still I'm went different. Back. See, I'm a different breed than Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? You know, men and women have differences. You know, we go through what we go through, we dispute or whatever, but you know, we can mend certain things, but don't call the police and have me in boot camp and all no, that. No, 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 no. A neighbor it's called. A somebody in the community called the well, police. Uh, Rihanna would have had it. Don't sit you. here for one second. You thank you. Lady, don't you sit know, here for one we second. We just had a disagreement that night. We was a little, both of us was on X, on Molly's, a little tipsy. You know, both of us was hanging out and we disagreed. <laughs> You know. I don't want anybody here to sit here for one <laughs> second and just feel like Rihanna was just like poor victim. Like, oh, Rihanna was going in. Rihanna went yeah, in Chris probably, Brown mouth. Yeah, what did she And shit? like everything was probably everything. You know she from Barbados, man. Yeah. Rihanna had the popped yeah. off, man. Some yeah, girl texting you, man. Yeah. We just love, uh, 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 bomb. Niggas, 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 Snatching the keys, throwing them in the lawn. You know Chris Brown, you know Chris but Brown But nigga, we ain't going nowhere, you know, nigga. Boom, you know through the keys. So you know he gonna react to the immature fact. Yeah, you know she got that eye. Yeah. You yeah. know where Chris <laughs> you tried me. You know yeah. how she talked though. But this is my agent, baby, calling me. This is my agent right here. <laughs> Chris, hey, you know this business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, or did somebody want to be in a music video? Now you gotta respect the people live high profile lifestyles now. Come on now, you in a relationship, you Chris Brown, you Rihanna. Every nigga wanna fuck you, every bitch wanna fuck you. Come on, man. Let's keep it real over here on Chopping It Up. Speaking of Chris Brown, Chopping it up, man. Trey and Michelle, the girl on the cover is an ex of Chris Brown. And actually, her and Karuchi Tran, which is his recent ex, are friends. Yeah, I'll cut this about. They made a couple dollars. And you know what they asked Both her? They're made like, a couple dollars. They're like, Drea, do you ever have threesomes with Chris Brown and his girlfriend? Where and she that? goes, I like having a man of my own. I don't know why people think I want other women's men. I want to be married one day and have more children. But first, I'm working on progression in my life, and I'm having fun doing it. Like, she wants, like, what every other girl wants. That's why we decided to pick her on the magazine. Because we honestly felt like um, Drea, she would... People get the wrong perception of her. Yes, she dates 
exclusive juicy people with money like Chris Brown and like the basketball player that she was dating, you know, but she's in long-term relationships with these people. She's not just like a she jump a off girl. She's a gold digger, she's a gold digger, just like all Like she, she's she, like with them for like two years, yeah, a year. She, yeah, she's not just like man, near the you know, game some, some, Gotta go pick this up. She's a nice girl. You know, she's more than near you. Yeah, you stayed up uh, two years, What's the three years. What do that, what, that make you better than the chick that stayed last night and left? I think she's holding her years. own I'm just saying, you just, season. you know, the chick that came last like, night, she made a couple dollars last night, it's over. You, you just made a couple dollars over the course of two years, man. I'm just saying. Really, man? IJS. Let's keep it real. IJS, man. Let's mm -hmm. keep it real. It's damn big pimping in the industry. Yeah. What you think the industry, huh? Mm -hmm. It's real out like there, ain't it? Yeah, it's it real. It's real. It's real. It's real. She's a pretty girl, though. She's pretty, but She's look. She's a model. I bet she won't get, all right. Speaking about, you know, what women want, what men want, who gets it, who doesn't, take the Luster Love Quiz and what's the juice magazine so you can test your compatibility with the person you with you're with passion and communication it's for both sexes male and females um check out your horoscope oh yeah we also have some sexy recipes in here so everybody can like make their man or girl a drink i think the best thing in here is like the banana pudding cheesecake what page is that? What page is yeah, that? Yeah, it's on page oh, twelve. Look, look at that. that Banana good. pudding cheesecake. I saw that. Banana pudding cheesecake. Like how oh my is god. That? That, that, no, that's look, about shocking. Banana pudding. I, Who this banana pudding there? Juicy. Oh she uh, is. I have an exotic look with a great personality. Well, now, well, and that's all does. I want uh, for my birthday. It's a banana nut cheese. Hey, look how she got them tattoos <laughs> going down the, with the stars. Ah. Yeah, she was in the last issue of our yeah. magazine. She is so tatted up. She, she's she's um, beautiful. She's so nice. She's like, she's been on covers of tons of magazines. Right. You know, in Black Men magazine. I I don't want to mess up her name, but I think it's um, Wakango. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and actually, you can go to her website. Hey, why you got? Dot me. Hey, why you got? Um, uh, why you got? Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and he probably Kanye, Kim Kanye except fooling they had himself a bond. right now. What you think? He fooling himself? He just run, run, went to running that game on a call the no, one day. He, he was out. like, baby, he you know, know what the nigga is. He just hanging out. Or, they, I think I, it, or I think, what I think is set up anyway. They, everything is set up, you know, because that's hype for the, the, the media. Right. So they're probably just setting that up. So right. everybody's concentrated on a celebrity on some celebrity and what's going on instead of the politics and then getting back to the politics. But I think and I think it's totally back to what's she really going on. You know what? She's keeping herself relevant. No, 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 I don't. She's keeping her celebrity status no. by dating but she can do right. Right. No, no, no. But listen, about, listen. Right. listen. This was about. I totally feel like Kim, like as far as the relationship thing, I don't think Kim is the type of girl to be like, okay, let's fake this. I feel like she's a romantic at heart, and if she's with you, like, that's what it is. That's why she doesn't well, have a problem with showing the world, like, okay, I'm with him, I'm with him, because that's who she really with. I feel like Kanye West and her had a really good friendship, and, you know, they've been doing things before, like, undercover, however it go, and I feel like they just clicked up, and they liking it, and they happy where they are, and they're going to see where they're, where it goes. It's not like nothing locked in, like, oh, we fin they just like all in, like, she cool, we been friends, she going through that, she got her own show, she doing her thing, I'm doing my thing, we we talking the same money here, but we just gonna try to be together and make it work out, and I feel like they you doing a good a, job of it. You think she a date the average guy and, and be boasting and doing all this stuff? I don't think she's can, I, I don't think she's ever around the average guy. Like her, when she go out to eat, like she not just going to McDonald's and sitting down and, you know what I mean? Where she's going to she's eat a, at. She, it's prestige. Her, she's a very prestigious her, person. Yeah, I, I feel you. you know, I, but I feel like she's a know, really cute girl. She's, she's very, cute. very, she's very sexy. Nice. She's I like, right. I love the fact that um, the Kardashians opened up about their lives and really showed who they were as people and individuals. And I just love them. I love them. I, I love getting Kim's juice. I love Courtney. I love Chloe, Kendi, Kendall, Kylie. Yeah, just like all of them. Mm -hmm. But speaking of um, juicy girls, Tiny, T.I.'s wife. I think they're so freaking cute. Um, we met up with Kamaya. I got a soldier. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we met up with Kamaya, which is Tiny's niece. Yeah. That's how we were able to um, have them in this issue. We are so excited. We can't wait to go back and meet yeah. with Kamaya. This, this is a nail shop in Atlanta, right? Them. Yeah, that's Tiny's nail bar. 
and it's like the juiciest nail bar ever. You go like there, everybody you goes you ever there. Went? You feel like a celebrity. You always see a celebrity there when you're there. You yeah. feel like, okay, I'm getting treated by the king and queen here. My sister and I, we got our nails done and toes done up there. We totally, totally loved it. And Major was like running around. It was like the cutest thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I really like them as a couple. You know, I always say, I don't know if I like T.I. better as a husband or a rapper or a father because he's just great at all of them. And kudos to them being a juicy African-American couple, keeping their marriage together, having their kids, like, you know, doing positive things and giving back. I think they're total, I love the way T.I. turned his life around. And um, just juicy to them for doing that thing, you know. You know what? He, I like this. Um, I agree. I this agree. Is with that. Big up scope. To this is my horoscope. This is the juicy right? scope. This is the juice scope right here, right? I like this. I'm an A Reed. You know what I mean? They say managing your hours and days, organizing your interactions, creating supportive assistance allows you time for what's most important now. Intelligent acquisitions of new knowledge. Oh my God! I love that. That's what's up. Yeah, that's really really good. This yeah, month, I am this month actually. I'm October. I'm a Scorpio. Halloween, baby. I'm a Halloween, baby, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, it says, what's group, what groups in the world do you admire? What organizations have the value you hope to have? What church team club calls you, calls to investigate this? It's your future. You're not to be a loner anymore. That's mine, so... I to guess I'm taking this journey up to Atlanta to do some things, so um What's your holla at me? Go to www.whatsthejuicemagazine.com. P Ross. I love it. Okay. It totally relates to what's Because going you know, on you're now. going through a couple of things and you're confused about a few issues and you know, you're working them out right now, you know, and things will manifest itself. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But we're here and paving. we're chopping it up, man. Definitely What's the Juice Magazine? The right. Paving the way to success, making it happen, trying right. to keep the people tuned in. Right. And just letting everybody know that they can be a part. They can right. inbox us or right. call us. Hit me up and, on um, Facebook, you know, Menace Manson. A lot right. of things are coming up, game shows and just like juicy drops right. like this. So it's What's the Juice Magazine, Mad Vision, exclusive photography and um. Thanks for listening to it. Oh, Obama, baby. Support the cancer movement. What you just saying? Me, exclusive, what's the juice? Everybody, if you want that Club Connect, we are going to be in Atlanta doing some major things with the club, connecting with some people. So if you want to get your stuff out there, make sure you go to www.whatsthejuicemagazine.com. Right. And if you want to hit me on Facebook, it's Prince the Connect Ross. Right. You already know. We're chopping it up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.